ET separation confirmed. Atlantis now uh, off of the external tank. Uh, Commander uh, Brent Jett will fire the uh, Pulse the engines on Atlantis to position it for uh, photography of the tank as it falls away. Beautiful view of Atlantis as it uh, falls away from the tank. You can see the jets firing uh, those reaction control system jets to position the orbiter. Atlantis Houston, nominal MECO, OMS-1 is not required, and no action on the cabin DPDT. This is Mission Control Houston now watching video that was recorded by the crew on board Atlantis of the external tank after it fell away from the orbiter after main engine cutoff. This video is being downlinked to Mish Control, so imagery analysts and engineering experts can review it and assess uh, the foam coverage on the external tank. This all uh, added to a compilation of imagery and data that helps the experts uh, determine. the integrity of Atlantis's heat shield, the thermal protection system that is in place to protect the orbiter uh, when it enters into the Earth's atmosphere again at the end of the mission. And this is a view inside uh, the laboratory module of the International Space Station after Atlantis launched when the crew members we're able to watch replays on uh, computers inside the lab with Atlantis and her crew on, it, on its way to the space station scheduled to arrive early Monday morning. Astronaut Jeff Williams is in the foreground, cosmonaut Pavel Vinogradov in the center, and European Space Agency astronaut Tomas Ryder in the background. Williams and Vinogradov have uh, been on board the space station for about 163 days now, uh, wrapping up their uh, mission soon. Ryder uh, just arrived at the station this summer aboard the STS-121 mission in the Space Shuttle Discovery, and will stay aboard until uh, December when the STS-116 mission is scheduled to bring up his replacement uh, astronaut, Sunita Williams. <laughs> 